Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Quake 2 on the Nightmare Difficulty, played through Kex Quake 2. We are doing all units with a blank slate, and this is the eighth one, the hangar. Let's begin. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to grab all the pickups in this area. And instead of going outside just yet, I'm going to go down this lift. And when we do that, sneak attack on this fella. Potentially. Fight the gunner and his little bros. And when they're all good and dead, you can go over here, grab the secret adrenaline. Also go over here and grab this pickup. The ammo pack, so you can increase your ammo capacity. There's some armor here waiting for you. And some more here. And let's go for a swim and hunt some fishies. And of course, some fellows are trying to impede on our little hunting session here. But let's get rid of them. There's two Ikari out here. One of which hasn't appeared yet. But if you go up this area and fight the gunner on this platform, you'll see him. But we'll encounter him later. For now, though, what I'm going to do is shoot this pylon, provided the railgun will actually let me do that. For some reason, it's stupidly inaccurate underwater at times. And we can go for a little swim. I'm going to use a rebreather, because this is another area where you can potentially take water damage. And now we're going to emerge here into the secret area to fight these two fellas. Just floating on by. And when they're good and dead, you can go over here and shoot this rock to reveal golf too. Sadly, you can't actually use the golf club nor the ball, but it's cute nonetheless. Anyways, I'm going to fire a BFG shot at the big boy. And I'll finish him off with a shotgun. Because I feel like it. Alright, so we'll be back here later, but for now, I'm going to go up this ladder and shoot this wall, break out the railgun and fight these fellas, or rather get the drop on them. Watch out for the medic in this area too, he'll potentially revive this fella to the point where he just reattaches his head. Since we didn't press this button over here, we'll have to go back the hard way with a jump. Yeah, this button right here is what activates the bridge. You can potentially go out here first if you want to press that. Or if you want to be cool, you can just jump across it all the time, every time. But anyways, after dealing with the Icarus and the Flyers, you should be good to go for this area. In fact, there's only, like, what, one enemy left? And it's the tank out here. Well, it says 28, but two enemies are behind a door that we can't access yet. Let's just get rid of the tank and we should be good to go. Now this right here will present two doors. One is blocked off and requires the tank commander's head at the scanner. And this is the scanner. So if you try to press it without the tank commander's head, it'll tell you that you need it. In order to get that, we'll have to go through this research lab area. But first things first, I said I'd be back at that place that I mentioned later with the other tank. Yeah, we're going there right now. Let's drop down. And get right to it. Because when we go here, you see we have three out of four secrets. This is the fourth one. All right, so here we are in a secret level, the calm satellite. First things first, Use this keyboard to shut this. Otherwise, if you try to grab this while this is open, you're going to be sucked out in the space. And that's no good. 
Anyways, let's ascend the elevator and go into this area. I'll deal with the flyer with a regular gun. This one two and this one three. This one four. Lots of flyers going around. Gets to a point where you'll finally fight an Icarus. And then more flyers. But, of course, if you have the railgun, if you want to use that, I recommend you try lining them up. At least two of them to be extra efficient. Oh, and I missed you. I missed both of you. I say to be efficient and I'm missing all my shots, but you know how it is. Of course, you can always just use more conventional weapons if the railgun doesn't tickle your fancy with these guys. You'd rather use it for more annoying enemies. More tanky enemies, too, potentially. But look at them. They're just so close to each other. It makes me want to blow them up. Of course, you can also use any other weapon. Including, but not limited to, the Hyper Blaster. Or a rocket launcher if they're really close and they're just not in a direct line. That also works. But anyways, we're going to do some risky maneuvers here. Because down here, you got to be really careful. Drop to this area and you can get the secret adrenaline. I'm going to use the last one I got. Oop. When you're done with that, do a nice jump. Right around here. This version of Quake 2 may be more forgiving with this kind of jump. Um, don't quote me on that. But just uh, be real careful around there is all I'm trying to say. Anyways, around here, more flyers. You know the deal. And right around this area, you'll find a button that will reveal the computer panel that you have to destroy. Shoot it with anything you want. I use the railgun because I like to do things in an overkill fashion. It's a force of habit at this point. Anyways, it, there are more flying enemies. Lots of flying enemies in this level. Technicians, flyers, Ikari. It makes sense because this level is uh, more of a low gravity kind of level. So having more grounded enemies might feel a little bit off. I think there is at least one grounded enemy here. And there's also another secret adrenaline right here. Let's grab that and you're good to go. So I'm going to backtrack to the one room that I walked past. Because in this room is an objective we need to do. And also, an enemy to fight. Yeah, remember this guy from the last video? Yeah, he's a more common enemy now. Not completely common, but he's going to be around a little bit more often. This is the Hornet. And he's dead. Thank goodness for them BFG shots, right? Not always the most optimal way to deal with them, but... It works. Anyways, as you can see, I'm pressing all these buttons on the ceiling using the power of low gravity. And once we do that, we have uh, freed the satellite. Now it's just going to be floating debris in the middle of space forever. Computer updated. So that's our objective. We did it. There's only a few enemies left. Let's go find them and finish them off. As expected, they're flying enemies. You know the deal by now. There's also another area where you can potentially get sucked out into the void of space. But just press that button and you should be able to grab anything around here with no issues whatsoever. Hopefully. And that's it for the secret level. So let's head on out. So beam me back down. 
All right, now we've done that whole endeavor. I jumped still expecting low gravity to kick in sometimes after beating that part. We're just gonna head into the research lab finally. And look, it's a soldier. We're going to kill all of them this time. Just repeat, I'm feeling particularly evil today. Hello, Tommy Pickles. Goodbye. Yeah, you saw that. <laughs> the little legs. Or at least I saw that. You knew there was going to be an ambush here either way. This place was too clean for that not to happen. Anyways, here are some Iron Maidens. Let's not get blown up by them. But let's blow up everything else in this area. We're doing these Marines a mercy. Because as gross as this looks, it's probably uh, quick and painless. Uh, probably. This, however, isn't. Oh, well. There's another Marine there. Let's just destroy him. And look, it's the brains. They're back. I have no ammo for a hyperblaster. I would have used it against these guys, but in the meantime, we'll just have to use explosives. I think I used it up with the EFG frenzy I did on the uh, Hornet earlier. Anyways. Hey, you're just chilling here. Um, I know you'd like to chill here, but there's a problem. Yeah. I have to activate this machinery. I get the blue key. Anyways, here's a medic. Let's kill him before anything bad happens with these fellas. And let's get a move on. Fight more guys. And blow this fella up too. Yeah, this game really likes to reward you for killing your own fellow marines, doesn't it? But here's a blue door. And going down the lift we'll fight another Bren. Another Marine right there. Some parasites will wait for you. Another rug rat. And another one. And a button we can press. But watch out around this area because there should be a medic around here. There you are. And you're dodging my shots. At least you didn't res anybody. But there's three brains here. I think it's time to use a grenade launcher. One real benefit of using a grenade launcher is being able to do pot shots like that. There's some parasites here as well to try to ambush you. But when they're all good and dead, I'm going to go down this hallway. We'll go into that other door later. First things first. I'm going to blow this stuff up to get this secret area revealed. It'll give you quad damage and some slugs for your railgun. Then you can push the buttons to end the sequence and deactivate the force field. And we're going to get rid of these guys. When we go into here, you'll see this little test tube area. And when you use this, these guys get freaking jibbed. Oh, well. Again, it's a mercy to end their misery. Even if there's just a little bit of extra misery. 
in the process, but yeah, you know how it is. Anyways, this takes you back to this area. And look, this bastard resurrected both of the Iron Maidens. Evil. And she's ducking under my attacks. Also evil. Anyways, I mentioned I'd be back to this area. Well, at least the uh, door in this part. So let's get in here. These guys will drop down. Throw the rug, right? We're going to end their misery. Again. And this leads to a different area. As you can tell by the gunners being here. And right around here is where the tank commander's head is. So let's grab that. And he comes back to life there, or so it seems, but you don't have to worry about him. Anyways, five more enemies. So let's go through this area again. We cleared it out basically in advance. But, you know, some enemies will still linger around and try to ruin your day nonetheless. You can ride the lips back up like so. But you may also have to deal with new enemies coming in to try to ruin your day still. If you have anything you want to pick up from these areas, you can feel free to do so. I think we've gotten just about everything we can from them. I'm going to break out the chain gun to deal with these next Iron Man's. And if you killed all the Marines, you'll see this on the window. Otherwise, you wouldn't see it. That means you can finally go into this area. And let's uh, free these guys from their suffering. And check out the secret message. A-H-D-S-S-I-B-H-B-J-J-C. I can't remember exactly what that says right now, so I'm going to put what that means in the com- or rather, the description of the video. So actually read that description for the first time forever. Anyways, we got all the kills and the one secret, so let's go. Now I can use the tank commander's head and go through here. And those were the last two enemies. So we got everything in this area, as you can see. So now we can go into the inner hangar. We were in the outer hangar. Now we're gonna hang out with this fellow. Grab another ammo pack. Blow this up so we can grab this adrenaline. When you go around here, you can grab another power shield. And cells for said power shield. And when you have the ammo pack, you'll have more capacity for that shield. It's always nice to have. Hey, it's a Berserker. It's been a while since we've seen a Berserker, hasn't it? It's amazing how it took him this long to bring Berserkers into this unit. But now they're back in full force and potentially doing their little shockwave attacks. Which is still ridiculous to me. But anyways, after killing them, you can potentially go up here to grab some ammo and stim packs. And this door opens from the other side, but also over here, you can get a mega health pickup. And you can still jump back up here to grab anything else, including the bullets in the area where the berserker was. But now, let's go into this area and use this turbine to fly up. Whee! Now let's shut it down. Let's deal with these fellas. And this is how you get out from this side. Gonna grab the bullets there. And let's make our way back to here. 
drop down where the turbine was and go into this place. To deal with the gunner, push the button to open up these areas. Deal with the other gunner too while we're at it. Let's drop down here. Let's not get crushed by... I forget what these are called, but we're not going to get crushed by them, of course. I saw one in Half-Life 2, and that's where I remember it more. But anyways, after dealing with this encounter, we're going to deal with the remaining enemies, including you. Here's a way back to somewhere old. In case you want to go back here. And I wanted to get off this lift, but it didn't want me to leave. So we're just going to stay here. <laughs> but I think we got it. Alright, so let's go. Let's blow this up. The tag the secret. It has quad damage. We already have a quad damage pickup, so... I'm going to use this one right now, as a matter of fact. Because there's enemies that ambush you. There's a few other enemies ahead. I might as well get some leverage out of it. Just a little bit. Nothing too much. Yeah, we're doing some platforming as well. I press several buttons. And before we actually go up this, we're going to go down here. I'm going to use a rebreather. Just in case. There's a bandolier to the right. In the middle, there's nothing but a dead marine. And to the left... There is a secret with body armor and health if you need that. Anyways, back we go into this area. And I'm going to ride this again. Now I can just jump up on here. Or you could jump on these and then jump on it. Whichever way, whichever way the cookie crumbles, you're going to take that opportunity. As long as you get up here and into this area to deal with these fellas, you should be good. Let's grab some more cells. Make our power shield more broken. Speaking of which, there's another one right here. And if you want another way to backtrack, you can push this button and you'll be sent back out to the area with the moving platforms. So just in case you want to go back there for any reason whatsoever, the opportunity is there. Anyways, I'm going to use the chain gun on you, Mr. Gunner. And you too. You were nice enough to drop bullets for me as well. Thank you. You, however, I'm going to use the grenade launcher. Since you're firing grenades at me, I'm going to fire grenades at you. And besides, I need reasons to use the grenade launcher. Even though these guys are dodgy bastards. Sometimes they aren't. And now, here's another Hornet. Let's just play peekaboo with him. And I'll finish him off the rocket launcher. There we go. Get that hornet. Get good. But now he's dead. We can go down here. Push the button to activate this bridge. And go for a little swim so we can go into this area, grab this secret adrenaline. And we're good to go yet again. Now we can go through this area, grab some armor, grab anything else that you need, deal with the gunner, and go up this area, after pushing this button, you'll get a ladder that'll allow you to go back. Now that we have that out of the way, we can carry on into this part. So let's push some more buttons and deal with the last five enemies. I believe they should all be up here. There might be a straggler running somewhere though. 
prove me wrong. But whatever. We're dealing with these fellas. We're using this lever to close this area. And we are halfway done with the unit. But the other half is considerably shorter. And those are last of the remaining enemies, aside from one right here. You shoot the wall, that's like obviously different from the rest. You can get the secret with body armor. And that's the last secret, that's the last kill. We are good to go. Up towards the surface. And look at that. This must be the black hole generator. Let's rocket jump directly near it. To get a secret area. You crazy rocket jumpers. Yep, it uh, actually put in a secret that is only really accessible by rocket jumping. The waterfall secret might be accessible. With hopping. The one in the fifth uh, unit. But that one, I'm pretty sure it's 100% rocket jumping. Anyways, let's go and kill all the tanks in this area using the power of quad damage. Where's that gladiator? Whatever, we'll deal with them later. Let's go to the other side. Yeah, not the most effective way to use quad damage. I wasn't immediately jumping back towards here. But, I mean, it still works. Use this right here. Do a few. And now we've deactivated the first chamber. Or chamber one. You don't have to deactivate them in a specific order. But you do have to go around and deal with all of them. Either way. What do you think about my BFG, big boy? And you, I don't have enough ammo to deal with you using the BFG. But I will shoot you with my rocket launcher. What do you think about that, eh? And we blew up a gunner in the process. And this is the gladiator I was hearing earlier. I was looking for you. At least I'm pretty sure it was the gladiator. Because there was one around this area. I think he might have walked into there. Anyways, that's the second chamber. To the spin the wheel. And now we can go into here and deal with these fellas. Well, there's a gunner. There's another tank. I think there's actually two of them like the others. But we'll deal with them. How about a BFG shot? What do you think about that? There we go. Alright, so, let's go up this lift, spin the wheel, and then jump up here, and there we go. Lots of wheel spinning, but I think we've got just about everything we can here. I believe when you look back around here, you can see... That we can now make our way to the launch systems, otherwise we wouldn't be able to really access this part. But now we can, and let's blow everything up here. Including these fellas. There they go. And here go the computers. And we have shut down everything. There's no turning this stuff back on. I think we got rid of that black hole generator that they were talking about. So we are really crippling the Strog army with this endeavor. Anyways, break this window, go into this area, you get the second secret of the area. And we got all the kills, and we did all the goals, so let's continue on. Alright, the comms guy was telling us to get a clean target, which we're going to do right here. We need to get the airstrike marker in this area, 
which another Marine tried to get, but uh, he, he kind of dropped it on the way. Along with being dropped himself. But we'll get it. Don't you worry. First things first, let's deal with these fellas. Do some funny railgun sniping. And while I'm here, and up around these areas, I'm actually going to drop down into the first one because we have to do a lot of fishing. So yeah, we going fishing. Because there's lots of fishies down here. We gotta deal with all of them if we want to get all the kills. And I do. Because so far I've gotten everything. And this is 100% walkthrough, right? These places converge eventually either way, so you'll be led down here regardless. And you can potentially go back to this part. Yeah, nade fishing. Loads of fishing, that's how you do it. That's how we do it on Plant Stragos. We can just go grenade fishing. Tell you what. By the way, if you want some more ammo, there's an opportunity to get it down there, but I'm pretty stocked on uh, bullets and shells. I don't know about you. But anyways, here's the airstrike marker. Alright. We are going to put this airstrike marker in this area. I'll show you where after dealing with these fellas. Well, yeah, there we go. Good shot. Good clean shot. Another good clean shot. Took a little bit of damage, but it's all worth it just to get those lined up railgun shots, I'd say. We can't really go into either of these doors just yet. So, we're going to have to just put this right here. We just put our little airstrike marker there by the little fuel container. And uh, here's the payload. And that airstrike was generous enough to kill a few extra enemies. Very nice. Be like one left. I think it's a gunner. But anyways, here's some extra items you can pick up before you go into the next unit. If you're playing continuously, these can potentially help you. But I'm going to use that adrenaline. The silencer, because I feel like it. And I'm going to end this unit by killing the gunner with a single BFG shot. Just like that. There's no kill like overkill, right? Anyways, there were no secrets in this level. Just kills and goals, so... Let's get on out. And there we go. That's Unit 8. And, uh, yeah, it's another fun one, let's say. And, of course, it's 33 minutes or so. So it's longer than <laughs> the last one, that's for sure. Ten times longer, even. No, more than ten times longer. We did the last video in like three minutes, but the actual unit itself takes like, um, like what, a minute and 40 something? Or potentially even less? Well, definitely even less. But, yeah, this is longer either way. Um, probably as long as the, uh, what was it called? The power and cooling unit. But still, all good fun. And we did it. It was pretty fun. So, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we go into Unit 9. But until then, I'll see you when I see you. So, see ya.